Legends Bar. I'm Peter Drury, and this is Jim Beglin. I'm delighted to have him on board. Thanks for the intro, Peter. I've been soaking up the atmosphere, and I'm really looking forward to what lies in store. It's a system designed to keep a strength in every department, Peter. It provides numbers around the ball. And we're underway. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Well, I'm going to say the Uruguayan Cavani. His willingness to put so much effort in. In with a header! It's in! And some of the best managers I played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. He did that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. Dodo. Aylesbury, not on for the three points, it goes for goal! Oh my word, my word, that is fantastic! He's got himself a pitch of a goal! Unbelievable. Well, we're all back to square one, but I hope this game opens up from here. It looks as if it could happen. There's a little bit of sympathy here, because that's a goalkeeper's nightmare. It's, it's clear that the keeper was unsighted by his defence, and by the time he picked up the flight at that, it was too late. Dodo. through the first period and it's looking quite a game here. Big chance! Dodo. Dodo. Steered out wide. What an adventurous run from a defender. And that's been Lever. Hits one! Truly turned on its head. Karim reacted well to the initial effort. But... <laughs> Bath. We've reached half time. So a really good half of football. Three goals and just one separating them start with but in the end they were thwarted before they could even make it into the final third. Bale is fouled. Well, that's a booking always looked in. Do you think he's feeling the effects of that tackle? He checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Bale is being withdrawn here but he wants to be sure exactly what the thinking is but his race is certainly run there. Chance to break. Deftly done. Now it's Cavani going through. Cavani. Shoots. A oh, great save. Real class. Add to the ball. Looks like a good ball through. He's left his man. Can he put it away? That is special! Olivier Giroud! There seemed no way back, but they are level! Manager called on him. He was only too happy to repay that faith. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been go on and make yourself a move. Oh, look, Peter, I was on the fence before a ball was kicked, and uh, I still haven't moved. Dodo. out 
to the right. Heads it! Surely this time, looking to shoot! Sticks it away! And again they hit the front. Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with, and to find it, I think it was a fine drive. And I don't... Take a toll now. Giroud looks to slip it through. Lyngeland up for the header. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job. And come much. up with that little bit of class to rescue the situation. And it needs to be any time now, really. Has a look and has a go. Good stop. That wasn't easy. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. And that will be the final act. Well, that does not help. Interpret the performance as you will. But the key truth is that they lost. Everything was just a letdown because of that. It remains for me to thank Jim Beglin for joining us and to wish you a very good day. Loki of Asgard. Now, I'm going to hold up some photographic illusions, and I want you to say the first word that comes to your mind. Selfless, brilliant, scores goals, sets things up, they can link off him, uh, makes all the right runs, just outstanding player. Fantastic attitude. I mean, he's a, he's a warrior. Um, I'd be far easier going to say what he hasn't got, and I can't tell you what he hasn't got. <laughs> Any manager in the world would have him as their centre forward in their team. I think he's absolutely incredible. He's spot on with his attitude, aggressive, um, will not be bullied, and he's and he's grown. He's he's relished every challenge that comes comes his way, and he and generally wins every challenge that comes his way. I mean, he's a fabulous player. There's nothing to dislike about him. You don't know him like I know him. Uh, very very poor. Um, I've, again, I looked at him when he was coming through. You thought this kid's got a chance, but he's a great example to a lot of footballers out there. You know, you take your eye off the ball, you lose that hunger. He should never lose that hunger because of that and that fight and that spirit. And he's, he's half the player. Isn't there a sense, though, Graham, perhaps that he, I mean, from what we're led to believe, and I don't know the intimate details, but he had a very tough start to life. He's been allowed to take his eye off the ball for whatever reason. And the senior player should have been pointing it out to him. They should be on his case every single day. He's a shadow himself and he's still a boy, he's still learning the game. He's got to somehow refocus and get back to the things he was doing. He's a quality player. But unless you've got the hunger and desire to go in and train properly and try and improve and all this off the field stuff that I see him getting involved in where he thinks he's a male model of some sort. Why would you say that? Just something, he needs to hear these words. He needs that spike because I think he can take it. How did you assess him or how would you assess him on that today? I would have gone for insanely smart and incredibly good looking. <laughs> <laughs>